Into the Dick Clark thing. Ah, New Year's rockin' Eve. So, Ant, I need help here. We got uh, the whole 2010 coverage, but we also have a look back at yeah. past years. What do you want to do here? I think we just start with 2010 coverage. All right, let's go with and 2010 coverage. And then we coverage. take a little retrospective and, okay. and remember. Right. Yeah. By the way, a lot of people guessing uh, what we were going to talk about when we got back on the air. Oh, really? And, of course, this would be the first thing we talk yes, about. Yes. Of it's, course. It's the new year. Uh, here we go. Ryan and Dick Clark. Now, we're moments away from counting down the final minutes until 2010 and a brand new decade. But now it just wouldn't be New Year's Eve in America without him. He's the master of ceremonies for tonight's big event. It's my honor to welcome back right now, Mr. Dick Clark. Dick? Thank you, Ryan. I'm glad to be back with you again. This is my 37th year in Times Square. And the party gets bigger and better. A great way to start a new year and a brand new decade. It is the best party in the world. Oh, well, don't you dare Dude, you gotta, go oh, Fix the audio, please. There's something, there's something <laughs> yeah. wrong with our copy. <laughs> yeah. What, do you run an old cart machine and it's a little it's gummed like, up? <laughs> oh, no. Like I said, it depressed <laughs> everybody in my house, and they started leaving. I'm like, no, guys. And let me tell you, he, Dick Clark, uh, uh, what, God bless him. But he's full of shit. This is the biggest and best the party yet. Year. I've been here 37 years. This one is the best party. That... No, the best one was when you were vibrant and running around and being able to say, hey, Happy New Year, everybody. Right. And is New Year's the best party of the year? Um, I, think, I think the Super Bowl nah. parties are better. No. You're supposed to, like, have fun on New Year's Eve. It's supposed to be like a big, right. whoa, whoa, if we don't find somewhere but, to go and party, we're But is it the losers. biggest party of the year? Mm, supposed to be. Supposed to be. Whether it is or not, I think I it's a know. letdown uh, in, in most cases. I just like, um, you know what party I like? Weekend at my house. Any weekend at my house is better than New Year's Eve. Oh, of course. <laughs> Uh, Can I ask you a question? What do you think Dick Clark's thing for doing this is? Is it? It's like I want to be. I, I don't know whether to be annoyed at him or not. Like, it's like sometimes you gotta go. I'm a, Dude, I'm a, I'm, time to move on. I'm annoyed at the network because you know there's 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 young young younger people in media that deserve a, a, a nice shot. You think he's under contract and. I they think he can't owns the show, go, or it'll look so bad. Yeah, or he owns. No, the I show. think he owns the show. Oh, it's and, Dick Clark's New Year's Rock, and he Eve. refuses to to step aside. Mm. I mean, he it could still be his show. See him in a meeting, suck my dick, motherfucker! <laughs> like he's just real angry and yelling in that voice. I think we have a situation here where he owns the show. The ratings are great every year. At this point, they're great because. We're watching a stroke victim. Yeah, yeah. For real, I, yeah. I, I don't I have I don't get any warm feelings when I watch Dick Clark. I, I like I keep saying I, you get depressed. Yeah, that's and, and he it's refuses like, no, to no. step aside and just be the behind the scenes guy <clears throat> that owns the show. And you think they're afraid if they just go look, we're going to go to someone else. Then it would then people wouldn't just go there automatically. Maybe they just go there because a it's a it's a fun it's a mess to watch, and b it's where you go. Dude, most people mm. are tuning in Dick Clark because he sounds like that. There's no way around it. Would you I mean, maybe maybe before the stroke, there was something about Dick Clark that you had to watch. It was like tradition or something. But now it's because he has the stroke. Would you tune in if it stroke was mouth. just Ryan Seacrest and their rockin' Eve? Well, then it would just be him doing it there. Then you got the MTV coverage, and then you got CNN's coverage. So, you know, it would be up for grabs right. who, who would be the big winner. But you wouldn't just... Tune in Ryan I'm, Seacrest doing it, right? No, I'm tuning in because Dick Clark. <clears throat> right. But the problem is most people will not admit that in mainstream media, that, that all these people are watching because yeah. it's a fucking train wreck. That's why I tuned in. Right. I just wanted to see Dick so Clark. So what I would suggest is the rest of the network, CNN and MTV, get fucking, oh, fucking people with horrendous oh, no. speech impediments and start competing with Dick Clark. All right. It's Kirk Douglas's. <laughs> right. Uh, Kirk Douglas's Rock and Eve. Right. Bye, Fortune. I would get I would get someone with a hair lip. I would uh, <laughs> what, whatever it takes. Stacy Keaches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twinkle Twinkle New Year's Eve. <laughs> if I was if I was CNN, I would be in that board uh, meeting right now, going, "Fuck this, Dick Clark. We're going to compete with him next year." Let's go to the booth for the countdown. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Miss Shivo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's what I would fucking do. <laughs> so, oh, here we are. Denver Pest suggesting they get Frankie Blue. Right. <laughs> right. No, they got to look horrendous. Because Dick Clark looked awful. Yeah. They, they tanned him up or something and dyed his hair, but, man, he looked, he wow. If he makes it through to 2010, I'll be amazed. What does the stroke do to you like? Because he was a little better last year than he is this uh, year. Now it's, he's, well, now it's just yeah, old age yeah. kicking in yeah. on top. Yeah. How old is he? He's like 75? I, would, I, would, I was trying to figure Stop that out. I that. think he's pushing 80. Can we get an age on Dick Clark? <laughs> and it's Stevens rocking New Year's Eve. And... Nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Why Thank would, you, Mr. Hawk. Why would the other networks allow, you know, Dick Clark to get all the ratings? So yeah. You guys got to compete. Get someone on there that people are going to go, is he going to fuck up the count? Sure. <laughs> all right, back to Dick Clark. The celebration, Dick, never gets old. Thank you, Ryan. But now, you do. we're about to see a great performer. She uh, grew up. Right here in New York. They say, if you make it here, you can make it anywhere. And boy, oh boy, did she ever make it. She's a star of movies, television, and music. And the people can't wait to see her tonight. Ryan. You are so right, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck you said, Boss. you are so right, Dick. <laughs> right. right. It's, oh, oh, wow. Why? I don't get it. Oh, that is just... It's a... Do you have television, movie, and music? It is downright depressing. It's not even to fucking make fun of Dick Clark. It, it's like literally you're talking. It's almost like you've sustained a horrible injury. Yes. And... It's it, it's interfering with the job. It's not about being a jerk or fuck Dick Clark. Right. He's obviously a ballsy guy. That's part of the job, dude. But yeah. you, it's, you should be kind of lucid and, and able to communicate to do that just because of the nature of the gig. Yeah, if you're a golfer and you lose both arms, uh, you could hold the club in your mouth and try to swing, but you're really going to be distracting and not very good at it. Of course. But, and, and that's kind of his job is to convey the festivities, what's happening, mm -hmm. intros. It's an announcer. Yeah. And if you can't really, you know, jibba jabba, <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, we got a bunch of these guys out there. <laughs> Larry King has no business being on TV anymore. We we pointed that out last year, and we're, certainly in the new year, we'll continue with that one. Yeah. One of my favorite bits we do. Uh, Dick continues. We're back live tonight. Times Square is for the end of heart. Now, most of the people down there are under thirty. And they have been there since some of them came here for the very first time. And man alive, are they tough. Some of them have been here since early this morning. Now, Melissa, you've got a live here with you. How long have they been waiting? Oh, uh, well, you know what, Dick? It is raining. It is freezing. I don't know what he said there. I gave times. up. It's... I was in for a while. Man. <laughs> and my brain, I, I my and brain then, got tired. And then I don't my know. My hearing apparatuses got tired. I know he said most of the crowd under there, uh, down there, is under thirty. <laughs> um, under thirty. They were under thirty. Okay. And then I just lost it. What do you mean under thirty? There's a lot of shit. Yeah, there was a lot of crap down there, and they were under it. <laughs> they were digging their way out from the thirty. Oh, poor. <laughs> so they could see the ball drop. Wow. Oh, poor Dick. It's getting wild out here, Dick. Yes, indeed. You know, when it comes down to the big ball drop, you know, it takes thousands of people to pull this off. The police, the fire department, all the city workers, and we can't think of it now. In a few minutes, all the hard work will pay off. Nobody, but nobody, throws a body like New York. Ryan? That is so right. <laughs> is that all he says is that's so right? Yeah, because that's he, cause so right. He probably doesn't know what he's saying. Thank and, and, you, Dick. And Ryan's on the street, and so it's hard to hear to begin with, and then yeah. you have to try to decipher what that fucking marble mouth is saying. I don't know. That one, I swear to you, have no clue what he said. No. No. 
Let's go up to Dick. You ready, my man? Yes, indeed. This is a big moment in all. You heard the countdown, right? Dude, <laughs> I saw your tweet. I was, I I saw, was <laughs> I stunned. Your, I saw your tweet. <laughs> Watching the countdown, I, I was stunned <laughs> at the new math <laughs> that is being used Did you for the countdown. Did you see it, Jimmy? How could you not? Was, <laughs> the man was throwing out random numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was like the lottery announcement <laughs> that they do for the news. <laughs> it was lotto. <laughs> it was, where the balls are kicking around right, and fall right, out. Right. That's what Dick has up there. <laughs> uh, it gives him Dick. ten numbers and how they come out is yeah, it's, it's, really, him. Fuck it. it's his show. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, poor Dick. <laughs>